Hello po sa lahat. Ngayon po, pag-uusapan po natin ang fractions. Ano ba talaga ang fraction? So, what is a fraction? So, pinakamagandang example po dito is when you have a cookie. So, let's say I have a cookie. So, kung bibigyan kita ng kapiraso ng cookie, okay, so, kukuha ako ng kapiraso, let's say, pareho dito, okay, yan. So, yung isang maliit ay ibibigay ko sa'yo at sa akin na tong malaki, okay? And, pagkatapos kong maibigay ito sa'yo, pwede ko nang sabihin na I gave you a part of the cookie. Tama naman, di ba? Kasi binigay ko ito eh. Kaya lang, take note of the word part, okay? In English po, may marami pong synonym ang part. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng synonym? Kasing kahulugan. Kasama na po doon sa mga kasing kahulugan ng part ay fragment. Okay? But, another synonym for the word part is fraction. So, kung magkasing kahulugan lang po ang part at saka yung fraction, pwede pong sabihin na I gave you a fraction of the cookie. Tama, di ba? Okay, so part, fraction. So, since magkahulugan lang naman pala yan, and a fraction is a part, a part is a fraction, so, kung ibibigay mo yung meaning ng fraction, edi ibig sabihin lang nun na a fraction is a part of a whole. So, in this case, this fractional part here, this part here, is a fractional part of the other cookie, or of the whole cookie. So, this one is a fractional part of the whole cookie. This one also is a fractional part of the whole cookie. Kaya lang in mathematics, okay, hindi po po pwede na ang one whole part is divided into unequal parts. Dapat po in mathematics, equal po ito lahat ha, equal po itong dalawa. So, kung sasabihin ko na hinate ko yung pi at ibinigay ko sa iyo yung kalahate, hindi pwede yon, Hindi tama yon. Alam nga namang sasabihin kong kalahat ay binigay ko, ay liit niyan. Tama, di ba? So, in mathematics, dapat, kung hinati sa dalawa or equally divided into two, dapat pareho ang sizes, pareho yung shape. Walang lamangan. Okay? So, that is in mathematics. Fraction is, or a whole is divided into equal parts. So, yung parts na yon are called fraction. Okay? And another example for this is this one. A very good example for this is our next picture. Right? I have here a whole pizza. Okay? Kung titignan mo yung pizza, the pizza here is divided into eight equal parts. Okay? Now, kung meron akong isang slice lang, pwede kong sabihin na meron akong isa sa so, walo. So, that would be 1A. Kasi nga, meron ako isa lang sa walo. Pag isulat ko yan in fraction, that is 1A. Now, let's say meron ako dalawa. Eh, di ngayon, meron na akong 2 eighths of the pizza. Diba? Kung meron akong tatlo, eh di 3 eighths of the pizza. Kaya lang, kung bupa ang pizza ko, pwede kong sabihin na I still have 8 over 8. Tama, di ba? Okay, kasi buo pa yung pizza eh. Meron akong walong slices. So, anong total slices ng pizza? And since buo pa yan, pwede ko pang sabihin na I still have one whole pizza. So, 8 over 8 is just equal to 1. And take note ha, yung number sa taas ay pareho lang sa number sa baba. So, kapag pareho ang number sa taas at ang number sa baba, that is just equal to 1. So, in this case, I still have 1 whole pizza. Okay? Alright, now, go back. Let's go back to our um, other first example, one, the one slice of pizza. Okay. So, we have there isa sa walong slices. Okay? And, as I've said before, pag sinulat natin to, this is 1 eight, Okay? Isa sa walo. So, yung meron tayo na isa, or 1, sinulat natin sa taas. 
at yung total number of slices, ito lahat, is 8. Okay? And ganyan ang pagsulat ng fraction. Kung anong meron tayo, yun ang ilagay mo sa taas. At yung total number of uh, parts or equal parts ay nasa baba. And yung number sa taas ay tinatawag natin yan as numerator. Yung number sa baba ay tinatawag natin yan as denominator. Kada na, sa taas, numerator. Sa baba, denominator. Okay? Alright. Okay, another example. The rectangle here is divided into four equal parts. Tatlo lang ang shaded. So, the shaded part is three-fourths. Tatlo sa apat. Okay? Another example. Okay. The square here is divided into nine equal parts. Lima lang ang shaded. So, yung fractional part is five ninths. Lima sa sham na equal parts. Ha? Okay. Another example is this pentagon. So, kung titignan nyo, yung pentagon ay hinati sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 equal parts. And, lima lang doon ang shaded. So, the shaded part is 5 tenths. Okay? O, madali lang, di ba? Now, tanong. Is fraction only for shapes? Pwede lang ba ito sa shapes? Tignan natin sa sunod nating example. Alright? Let's say we have a collection of balls. So, meron tayo ditong tatlong basketball. Apat na soccer balls. Okay? And sham na tennis balls. So, tatlo plus apat, that would be seven. Plus nine, that would be 16 balls. Lahat. ba? Okay. So, kung tatanamin kayo ngayon, what fractional part are basketball? Eh, di sasabihin mong tatlo sa 16. Tama, ba? Kasi, meron kang tatlong basketball out of the 16, 16 balls na meron ka dito. So, 3 out of 16 or 3, 16. So, yung fractional part naman ng soccer balls ay apat sa 16. Kasi, apat na yung soccer ball, and then yung total number of balls natin dito ay 16. Kaya, 4, 16. Alright. Now, yung tennis balls natin ay 9. So, 9 out of 16, or 9, 16. So, this time, hindi po shapes ang pinag-uusapan natin. We were talking about sets of objects. So, pwede rin kuhanin ang fractional part ng sets of objects. So, in this case, collection of balls. So, yung fractional part ng basketball ay 316. Fractional part ng soccer ball ay 4 over 16. At ang fractional part ng tennis balls ay 9 over 16. Now, is fraction only for shapes and sets of objects? Pwede lang ba siya sa shapes, sets of objects? Hindi. Tignan natin yung another example natin. Okay? Kailan ba natin siya ginagamit? Okay. In scores and in test paper. So, para dun sa mga estudyante, okay, um, usually, sinusulad nyo yung score nyo na, ma'am, ano po yung total score? So, kung ang test ay 20 items, 18 lang ang tamang sagot mo, you would say it's 18 over 20. Diba? So, in this example, ibig sabihin lang nito, 30 items yung test, 27 yung correct answers niya ng estudyante. So, yung score is 27 out of 30 or 27 30. Okay? And this is already a fraction. So, yung scores nyo, lagi nyo sinusulat in fraction. Another one is 35 over 50. Ibig sabihin lang nito, 
35 yung tamang sagot. 50 yung total number of uh, items in the test. Okay? Now, saan pa ba? Okay. In measurements. So, ano bang measurements uh, ginagamit sa measurements? One good example for this is kung kayo ay bibili ng asukal sa tindahan. Okay. Kadalasan, hindi kayo bibili ng marami. Sasabihin lang, lalo na sa mga bata, kung utusan ng nanay, sasabihin lang, o oh, bumili ka sa sari-sari store, bumili ka ng one-fourth. O, ano ba ibig sabihin ng one-fourth na yun? Okay. Ang asukal ay uh, minimeasure natin gamit ang kilo. So, ibig sabihin lang, pag sinabi ng nanay na one-fourth, that is just one-fourth of a kilo. Tama? Uh, they, there are times as well na bibili kayo ng isda sa palengke. Okay? You would say, ang bibili nyo or ang binili nyo ay three-fourths of a kilo. So, hindi umabot na isang kilo, three-fourths lang. Diba? Okay. Another good example for uh, the use of fractions is time measurements as well. Okay? There are times na may nagtatanong sa inyo, ano oras na ba? Uh, yung mga sausage yan sasabihin. Um, it's a quarter past three. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? A quarter. Okay? So, when you say a quarter of an hour, ibig sabihin lang nun, yung one hour ay hinati sa apat. A quarter actually is just equal to one fourth. So, a quarter of an hour is one fourth of an hour. Lang yun. So, pag sinabing it's a quarter after 3 p.m., so, ibig sabihin lang nun, 3.15 kasi ang one-fourth sa isang oras ay 15 minutos lang. Kalahating oras ay 30 minutos. So, pag sinabi sa'yo, it's just a quarter after 3 p.m., ibig sabihin lang nun, it's 3.15. Eh, ba Quarter. Oh, pero maganda kaya gamitin nga. A quarter of an hour. Pag sinabi sa'yo, it's half past seven. Pag sinabi half, kalahate. So, that would be 7.30 kasi half past 37. Okay? So, marami po. Marami pong uh, instances na ginagamit natin yung fraction. Okay? Sana naintindihan po. Alright. Uh, quick review po tayo. A fraction is a part of a whole. At tandaan ha, the fractional parts should be equal. So, the whole should be equally divided into uh, different parts. And yung parts na yon ay tinatawag nating fraction. Examples are 1 fourth, 5 ninths, 13 twenty, or 47 fifty. Okay? And in this example, 3 eight, okay, ibig sabihin lang noon, 3 ang meron tayo out of 8 total parts. Okay? And yung number sa taas ay 3. Okay? And yung number sa taas is called the numerator. And it tells you the number of parts that we have. Again, yung number sa taas is called the numerator and it tells you the number of parts that we have. Okay? Yung number sa baba, which is 8, okay? The lower part that is called the denominator and it tells you the total number of parts. So again, nasa taas, numerator, so ito yon nasa taas, and nasa baba ay denominator. The, numin the numerator tells you the number of parts that we have, the denominator tells you the number of parts or the total number of parts in a whole. Okay? Practice exercises. Name the fraction of the shaded part. We have here this one. Okay? Alright. Very good. So, sana nakuha, no? So, kung titignan nyo, ang shaded part dito is 5. And yung shape dito is divided into 6 equal parts. Lima lang po yung shaded. So, that would be 5, 6. Another one. Right, we have another example here. So,
Alright, sana nakuha ha. So we have here five um, five shaded parts out of eight. And that is five eights. Okay. Another example. Very good. You have there four shaded parts out of five, and that is four fifth. Now this time, name the fractional part of the watermelon in the set of fruits. Very good. Isa lang po ang watermelon dito. A total number of fruits natin ay 8. So, yung watermelon part is 1 out of 8. Now, name the fractional part of the circles in the set of shapes. Okay, sana nakuha, no? So, kung bibilangin natin, you have 7 circles there. At yung shapes natin dito is uh, 16. Total number, uh, total shapes natin dito ay 16. So, since ang tanong is about circles, so you have there 7 circles out of 16 shapes. So, 7, 16. Alright?